G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, um, uh, G'day guys, welcome to the next day. Um, after a bit of a laugh yesterday, today is serious business. The package I wanted did arrive. It arrived at my work, believe it or not, because I never put my home address on it, which I should have known and considered when going to the post office to pick it up. Um, so I just want to tell you something before we get carried away with this. I was doing some measurements of the filter and the, and the tank to work out how low I need to drop the water level for our project we're about to embark on. And um, basically, I found an eel in the filter. It was big, like real big. So there's there's two different eels I had. I had a... To, I didn't catch much of a glimpse. It like went down the filter media. But... So basically, I had... A freshwater moray eel. About... Eight or nine months ago that went missing. Um, I had a lid on it. It was in a basket. And basically, it jumped out. I don't think it's that... I don't think it's that eel. I had an eel two years ago at least two close to two years i put it in this fish room when i very first filled that pond and it disappeared basically straight away and i think that's it it's it's a freshwater short fin eel i think they're called um so we're gonna have to get that out of the filter um i'm probably gonna have to end up selling it because i don't have anywhere to put it I don't know, maybe we'll figure out somewhere. It can't really go in the pond unless I get my ass into gear and put all the lids on. But anyway, this video is about something else. Um, I will keep you guys posted on the eel. There's a cockroach on my camera. Um, it's going to be a nightmare to get it out, but it might actually work with what task we're about to achieve. So, um, basically, I, I sold a rape up, um, and the guy is accusing me of, or not accusing, but the guy said he's 90% sure that the stingray had worms. Um, Minato's batch definitely had worms or some sort of sickness, and we just did a preventative on the, all the fish. The, the thing we haven't done is the stingray pond. Now, the stingray pond is like almost 5,000 liters, we're including the filter. This little bag here does 2,000 liters and it's $35. So for me to treat the pond, pond twice, it's gonna be extremely expensive. So basically, I've bought two packets of this. My plan is to drop the water level of the pond and run it at 2,000 litres to treat the pond with this wormer. Um, there is a problem with that. The pond runs on airlifts. So anybody who knows the mechanics of airlifts, I can't actually drop the water level of the pond. But I've come up with a solution. It's going to be quite a lot of work, but we're going to do it. Um, I'm so nervous about using this wormer, but <clears throat> it's um it's pure Prasequintel or whatever it's pronounced, and that's meant to be ray safe because most wormers aren't actually ray safe, and that's why I can't just go get like big L poultry wormer or something. Um, that's why I've got to use. Uh, extremely expensive wormer. Um, did I tell you how much I need to drop it? I don't think so. All right, so I measured the filter, I measured the pond, I got an exact number. We need to get the pond down to uh, 1400 litres. So basically, I need to drop the water level to like 29 centimetres. I did all the maths, guys, already. So I need to show you what fitting we're going to make up to do that. It's going to take a while. I'll take you for the ride with me. 
All right, guys, so part number one is this um, 10,000 litre an hour barracuda pump that has been marinating in the koi pond filter. Um, don't ask me why it was in the koi pond filter. It, um, it was serving no purpose sitting in there. Um, I'm covered in crap. Uh, basically, I've used it a couple of times in the koi ponds to drain, drain it a bit and it, lazy me just ends up leaving it in the koi pond. Now one problem with this, it doesn't have uh, any sort of cover on the outlet the inlet. So we might have to move these rays around and steal one of these baskets. Um, there's no issue with moving them. They don't really need to be that spread out. We can probably flip that male in here for now. That male's the one for sale. That girl's the one I'm keeping. All right, so I didn't bore you with too much detail. I put the pump in a basket, but I've got a 32 mil hose and I've used a t-shirt to wrap around it and block the pipe. Um, the pond is currently overflowing because the airlift is still running, which means it's actually draining the filter. It'll only drain to a certain point. Um, but we're going to put the drain to the test today because as you guys know, I had that flood last week. I did actually put a new soak well down. Um, if you're on my Rumbles Fish Room Facebook page, you'll, you'll see the details on there. I think I posted a photo. But as for YouTube, I didn't record it. Basically, I'll tell you, but the old soak well was here. It's just like a rock soak well. Um, the idea was the water would just like it separate between the rocks, but basically the sand had washed into it. Um, so instead of digging that up, I just like found the path of the pipe, which was like here, and then I dug down to the pipe and just cut it off and I pulled the pipe out and planted a new soak well down in there. Uh, it's just like a Bunning special $80, 150 litre plastic one. Um, so yeah, we, we got drains again. So now this is gonna, this is where it's gonna get interesting to find out whether it works or not. So. We're going to find out if two things work. We're going to find out how well this drain works now because we're about to dump about 3,000 litres down this drain. Um, you might be asking why I'm not putting it into the water change system. It's because the water change system is actually full. I just checked that before I um, thought about doing this. But, so basically, I think I have to leave the airlift running but I'm not 100% sure. So if anybody's got airlifts, you'll understand my debacle here. As I drop that water, that airlift will actually stop working. What? Well, hang on. It won't even be the airlift's fault. This pipe here is the return to the filter. So dropping the water level, I'll actually drain the filter before this drains because it will never, la never go any lower than that pipe there. So that's what our pump's doing. Um, I might actually have to move the stingrays around a bit as well, because if you look, there's actually like six, six baskets in this chamber. When that goes down, there's two stingrays in there. They're gonna have no room to swim, because we're actually gonna, those baskets are gonna be touching the ground. And also, I'm a bit worried about the giant garami, because we're going to a depth of like 29 centimeters, the giant garami is taller than 29 centimeters, but hopefully he'll be all right. It's, it's not going to be for long. It's only going to be until, well, tomorrow morning, the water chain system will turn on and um, basically that, that level will come back up. All right, so I've left the pump running for a few minutes and it seems to be um, working out pretty well. The flow here is definitely way slower than usual. So that to me confirms that this is pumping more than, way more than 10,000 litres per hour. So basically, it's time to drain the pond. 
Um, so I've got this hose here. I don't want to drain it drastically fast, so this uh, 25 mil hose is plenty. We're going to keep an eye on it. Knowing me, I'll probably forget about it. But um, if I was real smart, I'd set the height of that hose to 25 centimeters somehow. Not uh, 29 centimeters, sorry. Anyway, I'm just going to let that drain for a while and I'll get back to you guys. It's going to be interesting but boring if that makes sense. Because I'm interested to see if it works. I'm 99% sure we're going to. But um, it's going to take a long time, so it's going to be boring. Alright guys, so we're almost there. Um, that looks to be about 35 centimeters. Do you reckon I'm right? Am I correct? Thirty-two. I was three centimeters off. You guys really can't get upset at me for three centimeters. Anyway, so this is what I was worried about. The baskets getting stuck on everything. Oh, there's a little fry there. Must have got out of one of the baskets. Um, so the baskets definitely don't sit as low as I thought they were going to. So the rays can still have the floor space underneath. Um, this one down here is going to be a drama. Just uh, that one big washing basket. But it's working, guys. I'm interested to see how low the filter is but alright guys you ready we'll see if you can spot this eel oh uh, no he's in hiding alright so the water level is probably only 50 mil lower than usual which means that the system we've created is working brilliantly um, that pump is definitely slower than the airlift so I knew this water level was going to be lower than um, standard, but 50 mil is good enough for me. All right, so we're pretty much ready for the wormer. Uh, basically, so if you look at that flow there, that is actually running slower than it usually does because you see how the filter level was dropped. So that gives you an idea of how much flow an airlift actually flows. Um, I'm not sure, I kind of want to turn the um, airlift off and see how it runs, but I don't want to risk overflowing the filter and there's no need to turn it off. It runs every other day of the year. Why not, why not run it today? You know what I mean? Um, anyway, let's put this wormer in. Someone did say to me to dissolve it in a stocking, but I'm just going to YOLO it and dump it in. I don't really know what end to dump it in. I don't know whether I want it to go through the filter first or not, if you know what I mean. So, I'm pretty sure I don't, so I'm pretty sure I'm just going to put it in this corner over here. I mean... What's the worst that could happen? The great thing about this is because we've set the pond to 2,000 litres, I actually don't need to measure it. So I was thinking, I was just been looking online. I was thinking about getting 100 grams and trying to get it from the US, but I shouldn't really say that on camera, should I? But, wow, this stuff stinks. But I think it's, it's it's a lot of money, and it's too risky. I'd rather just pay a little bit more when I know that I'm definitely going to get it, you know what I mean? Alright, so I'm starting to think that a stocking might have been a good idea. Alright, I don't know whether to turn the water change system off for tomorrow or not. I'm leaning towards yes, turn it off, but I'm not 100% sure. I think I will turn it off. Better be safe than sorry. Hey guys. 
Alright, so that's the worm we're in. Job done. Alright, so now that we've burned the fish, I literally have like 15 minutes to edit yesterday's video um, and get it up on online before Blackie's Aquatics live stream starts. Um, it's his first live stream, so if you were there, good job. Um, but I'm really excited to support him. He's actually a follower of my channel. Um, go have a follow of him. He structures his channel very similar to mine. Um, I was the inspiration for him, he says, which uh, I take as a huge compliment. Um, and yeah, I can't, it's, it's called Blake's Aquatics, not Blackie. I'm getting, getting my uh, YouTube channels mixed up. Anyway, um, I'll drop a link in the description if I remember. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.